Hello. Well, I am um, <clears throat> taking a bit of a break from the Christmas videos because, um, as I mentioned last month, there was a sale going on in a, um, for Criterion Films, and uh, I actually got some. And um, I've never really done this before of showing off films that I have just recently got, uh, particularly films I haven't seen yet. Um, well, I guess I have seen them at one point, like on television or uh, online, um, but I've never done it like this, so um, I'm not saying I'll do this all the time, uh, or more, at least more often, but I thought for a change I would just kind of like to, you know, just just make a video that's a bit different. Um, and, um, hey, it's like around Christmas time and I just got these uh, movies the other day. I was supposed to come today, but it came a couple days early. Um, I haven't watched um, them yet. Uh, I don't know why, but anyway, um, <laughs> Guess I'm just trying to get in the mo right exact mindset, if that makes sense. Um, no real special occasion. Just I don't know. When I rewatch these films, I really want to ensure I have no distractions and nothing to really. Um, yeah, just nothing really to distract me. Like I won't have to do anything for a day or so. Probably take multiple days to watch these films. Um, even though there's three, but I don't know. With, with the first one I want to talk about, there's some others I want to, other films pertaining to that one, that I want to talk about, or re-watch all of them, and then with this one included. So the first film that I'm going to show is, um, Seven Samurai. Um, now, I have seen this on TCM before, and um, I enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, it is very lengthy. It's 207 minutes. Um, so, you know, that in itself is going to be quite a viewing um, over three hours. Um, but uh, I have three other Akira Kurosawa films. You know, this is one of his best known films. The others are uh, is a Hidden Fortress, which um, people who are Star Wars fans, like myself, uh, people who know it now know the influence Star Wars had for George Lucas, or George Lucas, or inspired inspired George Lucas in the making of Star Wars, particularly with the perspective of the films being shown through the eyes of a hidden fortress, the uh, <clears throat> two characters who are like the servants, like a princess, and it's been a while since I've seen it, so I could be completely off on that, but basically there are two characters in that film which inspired C-3PO and R2-D2 in their bickering and how the whole film is from their perspective, essentially, because they're like the only characters throughout the whole saga. Um, and the other two I, films I have from Akira Kurosawa um, are um, Yojimbo and Sanjiro. Now, I actually got those two on separately. I didn't get them in the cool little two-pack that was available because when I got them, I got them at Barnes and Noble in the in store. So, and you know, they didn't have that, but I had seen that before. But I was looking for something else from Criterion at that time, so I never got it. And again, uh, Criterion is a bit pricey um, $40 for uh, a set, though this was actually $25. Uh, so, 50% off. This is normally $50, but then again, this is kind of a big set. Uh, let me show you here. Um, 
here's the here's the chapters. Something that's cool. And on, and on the inside, here's a disc two, and here is disc one, and a cool booklet, um, which has the cast and crew and notes and stuff. And I believe an essay, if I correctly. Yes, an essay, a booklet featuring essays by Kenneth Tiran, Peter. Cowie, Philip, Camp, Peggy, Chow, Alan Silver, Stuart, Galabertoff, uh, Arthur Penn, and Sidney Lamet, or Sidney Lamet, and, um, and an interview from Toshiro Mifuni. Uh, I'm sure I butchered that name. I apologize. Um, I do know I, I have I do actually know his name uh, because I've seen him in various films. I've seen various Akira Kurosawa films. I don't own them, but I have seen them on TV or wherever. Um, then also I'm also at times I'm very bad at pronouncing certain names, particularly um, you know names from other countries because sometimes. Uh, a name will look like something I have seen and have said before, but it's pronounced completely different, so I at times butcher names. But anyway, this is what that set looks like. It's pretty cool. I really love Criterion and how they've um, had their sets and everything. They, 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 they really do care. And, um, I want to rewatch the other three uh, Kurosawa films with this, and I'll probably begin with this and then watch the others uh, in order because um, it's been a long time since I've seen this for sure um, not as long as the other three but uh, I just want to rewatch uh, those three uh, after this and um, you know this is a film I've been eyeing for quite some time don't know at all why it is I, um, it took me so long well, actually, probably because um, there were a lot of new releases out whenever I was going to get a Criterion film or two. And, of course, you know, here's a new release in, like, say, Dr. Strangelove or Silence of the Lambs. And um, it's like, I can only get one or maybe two. So I have to get, like, one of those films and then maybe something else for whatever reason. But I never, for, yeah, for whatever reason, I never got this. Uh, I can't wait to rewatch this. Um, and now the other two. Um, well, I'll actually just uh, put this one back here at the moment. Uh, a film that I have seen a long time ago, uh, probably longer than the Seven Samurai and the other film. Um, but the, this is the Last Emperor. Won every Academy Award it was nominated for, uh, nine. Um, and from what I have recall exactly, um, it was incredible. It was a great film. Um, it's recreating the Qing Dynasty uh, with astonishing detail, as it says on the back. And uh, Bernard, Bernardo Portolucci. Feel I'm butchering that name. Maybe I'm not, but apologies again. But I remember this was a great movie to watch. Um, Peter O'Toole is in this, and I've talked about how I love the work of Peter O'Toole, how he's great. And, um, you know, I think he should have gotten an Academy Award. Uh, it would have been his first in. Probably only supporting actor nomination. Um, obviously, I've talked about how he deserved Oscars, like for films like um, Lawrence of Arabia and The Lion in Winter. But you know, I think he deserved one for this as well. Um, I think this uh, this is a performance that may be overlooked by him, um, or by many people. It's an underrated performance by him. Um, I recall it was great. Uh, the, the acting in general in this was is 
is great. Um, I really like it. Um, but yeah, I uh, wanted to rewatch this and I uh, thought, why not get it? Uh, especially since it was like it was $20, so uh, yeah, it's really cool, it's really good. A lot of special features, 53 minute film. Uh, traces the director's geographic influences from Paramount to China. Uh, yeah, there are a lot of like documentaries and other stuff in this. So uh, I think uh, anybody who uh, has seen this and wants to rewatch it and doesn't have this edition, I say get it. It's really good. It's uh, it's. An, it's a great film. Haven't seen it in a long time, but uh, it's pretty good. This isn't as long as the other film, you know, Seven Samurai. It's uh, 165 minutes, so um, it's not short, but it isn't as long. It's not three hours long, three and a half, or three hours plus. Um, so there you go. Um, and the last one is a uh, meantime. Now this is a film I watched online on YouTube actually. Um, however, I believe the film has been taken down since um, for copyright. I would imagine so. It was quite a number of years ago, but um, I remember it's a very interesting uh, film. It's a slow burn, as I said on the back, um, and uh, has early performances by Tim Roth and Gary Oldman. Gary Oldman plays a skinhead, and Tim Roth plays like a a character who's very slow. And his brother is played by Phil Daniels. And um, yeah, it's um, it's 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 a really uh, it's a really good film. It's an interview with uh, Tim Roth and other actors, and critics, and the director. So, uh, yeah. I think, uh, this movie was actually, I believe, um, released uh, on TV, but did get some theatrical releases. Um, or a theatrical release in some places. Um, not sure if America was one of those places, but it did have... Um, A theatrical release somewhere, but I believe Britain it was uh, <clears throat> on TV. Um, can't recall, but yeah. Mike Lee's a good director, and this is the shortest out of them all that I've got. Um, 107 minutes. Um, so yeah, there you go. Uh, if time is not or is a problem, this is a good one. It's. Um, two hours um, and yeah it's very good all three of these films are good um, I enjoy them uh, and I can't wait to rewatch them so that's my uh, little uh, show and tell I guess not so much telling in terms of what the films all entail but um I hope to do that in the future. I hope to really um, rewatch them and talk about them more. Um, yeah. Until that day. Um, yeah. I guess I'll just uh, continue reviewing, or not really reviewing, but talking about the, all the Christmas films that um, I like. Um, since I don't really do reviews exactly just kind of talk about stuff in the film so um, next week I will continue uh, on with uh, the f uh, Christmas films I enjoy um, but you know hey, hope you like this um, and if anybody wants to see more of that kind of thing for me that's just like you know I got this movie I'm gonna 
I haven't re watched it, but when I do, I will talk about it for you and uh, all that. Uh, might not be a regular thing because I enjoy just like talking about films uh, for this series. Um, but yeah, let me know if anybody wants to. Uh, if not, you know that's fine. You don't have to comment. I don't get a whole lot of comments anyway. Um, but anyway, hope you all have a good day. Hope you all have a good weekend. And uh, watch some good films. And until uh, next time, I hope you all keep living well, living life. All right.